Welcome to the flowerschool.com video library. I'm Leanne Kessler, director of the Floral Design Institute, here to share with you our latest issue on hot poppin' color. You know, we study the color wheel and we try so hard to make our color perfect. And then sometimes Mother Nature gives us a little bit of a surprise. I found these and just fell in love with them with that hot pink and that yellow. Some of them are even brighter. And then, same day, I stumbled upon this coxcomb. Isn't that amazing, with that orangey yellow and hot pink? And I thought, well, my goodness, I have got to get both of those. They're so grand. They're so odd. They're so different. But, having studied, studied color theory for so long, I was having second thoughts because I can remember a day that I worked for a woman that if you did pink and yellow together, you'd be fired because it's not a color harmony. Pink and yellow is two-thirds of a triad. To finish the triad, you have to add blue. Pink, yellow, blue, that's fine. And look what happens when I add the blue. Wow, that makes color pop. For my container, I'm going to use a contemporary glass cube. And I've anchor pinned down in the bottom, and then I'll use foam. But of course, I don't want the foam to show, so I'm wrapping it with aspidistra foliage. And I've just started it around, and I wrap. And then to hold it in place, a hairpin wire, just pinning it down, bring it on around, pinning it down. If it has a bad tip, like this one does, just clip it off at an angle. Then when you're ready, you can just slide that right down into the container and onto the anchor pins. The Gerber daisies, they're perfect for terracing. So cutting them down low and then inserting them flat against the foam. Breaking the line of the container and then bringing another one over the top. Making sure it gets in there nice and deep. And then yet another. And this one may be a little bit shorter. So I've got three levels. Sneaking it in there. The hydrangea. It's so perfect. Just giving it a cut. And then tucking it in deeply so that it's down into the water reservoir. Creating a mound of that royal blue. And then coming back with the coxcomb. Again, keeping it short, creating a tufted style of design. It's almost a carpet, a tapestry of color. Turning that so that you can see. Isn't that grand, the way that tucks right in there? And this one has actually a couple of pieces. And tuck one and then go back and tuck the other. And then making a decision. Do I want more blue? Do I want more yellow? Do I want more of the coxcomb? So many choices. But I also grabbed a little bit of echinacea to give the eye a resting point. The echinacea pod will give me a solid color to put on this other side. That way your eyes don't get quite so dizzy from all the color. To finish, I'm going to use some of that fabulous Oasis flat wire in the hot pink color and just spiral it by capturing the end with a needle nose plier and then spinning it around and pulling it in a little tighter. And I can adjust it. Then this can go right down in. Feeding it into the foam. And then bending it so it comes down over the front of the container. You can take another piece. Already spiraled it. And maybe even bringing it in through the hydrangea, finding an area, and letting it sit on top of the flowers. Maybe yet another one. Bring it around to the opposite side, feeding it in, and then twisting it so it goes the direction I want it to. And then a last one, bring it back down over the container on the opposite side, 
So that it makes it interactive, going from side to side, maybe even curling around the corner a little bit, giving it some flair. A little bit of movement throughout. I'm going to tip it just a bit so you can see. Hot colors that pop. The sad thing is, you don't get to see it in real life, where the colors are so fabulous. On a computer monitor, it can vary so much. The hot pink can look orange or pale pink. The orangey yellow can look different. Trust me, this is so vivid yellow, so vibrant hot pink, and then cobalt blue. It's absolutely amazing. So now it's your turn. I dare you to go out, find the boldest, brightest colors imaginable, and create your own arrangement. For more creative inspiration, check out our website at flowerschool.com. If you've got questions or comments, don't hesitate to contact us, either through the website or by telephone at 1-800-819-8089. And if email is easier, use my personal email at leanne, L-E-A-N-N-E, -N -N -E, at floraldesigninstitute.com. Well, I'm ready for a party. I've got bright colors. Have fun and do something you love.